This is a vector equation uh, question. We've got two vector equations. Here's one. Here's another. This, of course, is a point on the line. This is a point on the line. This is the direction of the line. This is the direction of the line. Okay, and A is a constant, one of these points on the line, one of these coordinates, the X one, we don't know. We're told that the lines intersect. That means I can make them equal each other. And we're asked to find the point of their intersection. We're then asked to find the value of A, presumably using part A. And we're also said that given that theta is the angle between the lines, find the value of cos theta in the form k root 5, where k is rational, so k is a fraction. Okay, first things first, for part A, it's usually easier to write these as a combined vector. So for line 1, I'll call that line 1, and I'll call that line 2. So line 1, for the purposes of line 1, R is more neatly written as 7 plus 5 lambda, 0 plus 4 lambda, and negative 3 subtract 2 lambda. Okay, and line 2 is more neatly written as r is equal to a subtract 5 mu, that's supposed to be an a, a bit messy, so a subtract 5 mu, 6 plus 14 mu, and 3 plus 2 mu. Now, for them to intersect, we're going to make these things equal to each other, and we can write the following equations. That 7 plus 5 lambda must be a subtract 5 mu. Okay, there's equation 1. The y-coordinates must be the same, so 4 lambda must be equal to 6 plus 14 mu, equation 2. And uh, negative 3 subtract 2 lambda must be 3 plus 2 mu, equation 3. Okay, now we want to find the point of intersection. Now, there's no point dealing with this equation here because it's got a's in it and we don't know a. So we're going to use these two equations here. So we're going to try and solve these uh, simultaneously. So uh, what we could do is we could uh, multiply, because we've got negative 2 lambda there and 4 lambda there, we could multiply this one by 2, so that it was negative 6 subtract 4 lambda is equal to 6 plus 4 mu, and we have the equation above 4 lambda equals 6 plus 14 mu, and I could call that equation 3 and 4, let's say, and now I could add them, couldn't I? Because that would eliminate the... Uh, lambdas, so I could add these equations, so 0 plus negative 6 is negative 6, this disappears, we get 12 plus 28 mu. Subtract 12 off both sides, sorry, 28, what's the matter with me, sorry, 18 mu even, subtract 12 off both sides, negative 18 is equal to 18 mu, and therefore mu dividing both sides by 18 is going to be negative 1. And I could sub into uh, which equation I'm going to sub into. I could sub into this one here. I could sub into equation 2. And I would get that 4 lambda must be 6 plus negative 14. So therefore, lambda must be equal to, um, it would be negative 2. Now, we're not done. We're asked to find the point of intersection. All we've done is find the mu and the uh, lambda. So therefore, <clears throat> uh, letting mu equal minus 1, you should put them into bo uh, both. You get yourself that it would be a plus 5, substituting in minus 1 in there. Here you would get 6 take away 14, which is negative 8. And here you would get yourself 3 uh, take away 2, which is 1. Now, um, putting in lambda is negative 2 into this one, what would we get? We'd get 7 take away 10 is negative 3. We'd get 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And we'd get negative 3, uh, and then negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, so we get 1 there. Now, we look like we've done it right because the negative 8s are the same and the 1s are the same. 
Obviously, the x coordinates are going to be the same, um, but we had an a, an unknown in that one. So it's important to state them as a coordinate. The intersection, after all, these these are position vectors, is therefore negative three, negative eight, and one. Okay, so that's that done. And then for part b, which I'm just going to write here, for them to be the same, we know that a plus five must therefore be negative 3 and take off 5 off both sides a must therefore be equal to negative 8 and we've done part a and part b okay so for part c then um, remember if these here's a picture of the two lines there and this one is I'll call that L1 and that L2 this L1 here R is going to be equal to <coughs> Um, 7, 0, negative 3 plus lambda lots of 5, 4, negative 2. And this one here, this L2, R is going to be equal to, well, we found A. What was A again? A was, eight, a was negative 8. <clears throat> so it's going to be negative 8, 6, 3 plus mu lots of negative 5, 14, and 2. <clears throat> now we want to find the cosine of the angle between these okay now all we care about the key thing here we just care about the directions the positions do not matter whatsoever so when we are using our dot formula we're going to be dotting 5 for negative 2 as the direction we might call that one a and we might call this one here the direction of line 2 which I'm going to say is negative 5 14 and 2 and we're going to use the formula that cos of theta, which we're trying to work out here, is going to be a dot b over mod a mod b. It's important to draw the picture to tell the examiner what your a and your b are after all. Otherwise, they won't know what you're doing. So, let's work it out. a dot b. Well, that's going to be equal to 5, 4, negative 2, dotted with negative 5, 14 and 2, which is going to be equal to 5 times negative 5 plus 4 times 14 plus uh, negative 2 times 2. And you work that out. And you get yourself um, 27. And now we're going to work out the modulus of A. The modulus of A is going to be the square root of... 5 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 2 uh, squared, which is going to be equal to the square root of 45. And the modulus of b is going to be the square root of <coughs> negative 5 squared plus 14 squared plus uh, 2 squared, which is going to be equal to the square root of, well, actually, that's uh, 25 plus square root of 225, which is actually a whole number, which is 15. So cos theta is therefore equal to 27 divided by root 45. Now root 45, I can actually write this as <clears throat> 3 root 5, because it's root 9 times root 5. So over 3 root 5 multiplied by 15. So it's 27 over, um, I could write that as 45 root 5. Now, in the question, it asked for cos theta, not theta. Read the question carefully. So we're on the right tracks. But it wants the root 5 on top. So we're going to have to rationalise this and multiply top and bottom by root 5. So it's going to be 27 root 5 over 45 multiplied by 5. And you can tap that in your calculator and see if it uh, simplifies. It does indeed simplify to 3 25ths root 5. Okay, so that is the cos theta we are after and we have done with regards to this question.